Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Um, is there an Echis Oncelatus? Um, is there destined uh, to go to the Kentucky Reptile Zoo? Not interested in striking, I'm going to leave it behind. Uh, oh, that's a striking. I just looked in on the all the eggs that were laid. He was serious, or she was serious about it. Um, and only one looks viable out of all those eggs. Um, I, this is the one that we had the force feed last week. I don't know if it will, if it will eat a gecko or not. Me. My idea of fun is not force feeding any venomous snake. Echis is very low on that list of animals that I like to wrap my fingers around their heads. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 there we go. I'm just trying to, because Delta closed the cargo office at Lexington, Kentucky Airport, uh, near the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. Um, you're hungry? Huh? There you go. Um, uh, I couldn't ship them right away, so I have to keep them alive and uh, get the, you know, get some food and water into them. So, um, this is the safest way for me to do it. And if these guys, there's two of them that I marked NF non-feeders that I will uh, perhaps have to uh, uh, force feed again until I can get them shipped uh, the week of July 4th as suits uh, the folks at the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. Uh, let's see if I've got a little smaller one in here. I also have this. Um, number two, Echis leucogaster. These are hatchlings that they were born here. Uh, this guy is only a gecko eater, Looks like that. Apparently so. Eventually I'll get them switched over, but right now I really don't have time in the schedule to, to do all this stuff. So I'm feeding them what they might eat. Uh, uh, you know, without hesitation, without me having to get uh, involved uh, too much into handling them. Um, here's the bit is Quadalis. I don't know if you can see him. He's in the front, but he likes geckos. Oh, it's getting away. Huh? Here we come again. There we go. Now these are from South Africa. The these are amongst the dwarf bitish species. This is Quadalis, um, or better also known as the horn puff adder. Um, I've had these many times in my collection. It's just that they're very rare to get here in the U.S. Uh, um, and uh, 
I've got a male and a female. The female's eating mice. Uh, he's, uh, he's going to attempt to eat that ass backwards, but we're not going to hang out for that because we've got other animals to feed. But um, they're uh, quite uh, cute little animals uh, with quite a powerful little bite. Uh, and certainly uh, uh, probably won't kill you. Oh, well, almost. I won't say the chances are not zero, but they're very low. But you're going to have a very bad week. Uh, um, there isn't uh, an any venom that works really well. Um, the question is: Is it worth risking a serum reaction and and giving South African polyvalent to cover a, a bite that uh, will not be a, a systemic bite in nature? So. We're going to let him struggle with that since I've long learned never to, to mess with a snake that has decided to eat something the wrong way. <laughs> so we've got one more uh, uh, Echis oscillatus across the way to, to feed, and uh, um, but I do have some, some leftovers. Now these are the the lesser Sunda Island pit vipers that were born May 23rd by the blue girl up there. This was a double clutch. Do you want this, huh? Huh? Oh, we do. Well, that will be a good meal for you. So let's try for number 10. These are quite large. Because they were meant for the Echis. And these sheddings are leftovers from the last time. We don't like to disturb them. Okay, that's good. So I need to thaw out one, two, three, four more uh, geckos. So you'll remind me later. So now we'll go over and feed the other Echis, Sosalitis, and we'll get that taken care of. Yeah. Someone up here anxious to eat? This is the female Leucogaster who laid eggs and is uh, uh, quite eager to feed and is so eager that most of the time she'll even take uh, frozen thawed, although it's not her preferred. But uh, she'll take it. Oh, yeah, she's a nice girl. I really like her. She's quite pretty. You don't get to see her very often. We've got still four good eggs in incubator. They were laid uh, October twenty fifth, so they're just cooked a little bit more than a month. Usually it's about 60 days or so. Um, I think the Ocelatus were 45 days. Um, so we'll have to uh, uh, keep uh, track of those uh, to make sure that uh, we don't get any surprises. Remember the Ocelatus, uh, we opened it one morning and found one sitting on top of the lid of the incubator. <laughs> that was very unpleasant. Eh, quite a surprise. <laughs> Especially since I didn't notice it there right away. Uh, uh, this is uh, quite a bad thing. If we look down below, we have the ultimate uh, beggar, the Kazukanovi Viper or Kazukanovov's Viper. He is quite amusing uh, uh, to have around, but you know, these are all big meals and I'm not giving him a big meal. Look how, you know, he's robust. But he sure acts like he's starving all the time. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Here, want that? No? <laughs> uh, he's a funny snake, but look, you know, he's a solid snake. 
uh, you know, big, big fat male. He has no ridge line on his back. He's 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 solid. So he he doesn't get fed the uh, the bigger items. <laughs> However, we will give our friend. Uh, uh, Mr. Speck down here something of this this size. Well, Mr. Speck went after my fingers too. Hi, bud. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, I have something for you. Take it gently and this way you get in the right orientation. Thank you. That's really nice. I'm going to leave that open for a minute so he, uh, he doesn't have to get shaken big. We'll let her go. Uh, looks like this girl is sort of looking again, so we'll offer her something. Easy, easy, easy. Would you like another? Huh? Oof. These are very, very beautiful uh, uh, vipers. Um, it's funny, uh, Lori and I sort of have fun with their scientific name. We don't, we don't call them Devoya necessarily. We call them Schnazola russeli because there are big <laughs> schnaz there, which is one of the hallmarks of uh, Devoya. Not vipers. Oh, he was happy with his meal. He's off in his little hut, or maybe well, not. His hot spots up here, so he will uh, curl up and. Uh, She's done. She's just got the tail tip hanging out now. Yep. We'll let her go for a second. If you rush those guys, they get a little bit surly. No, you're not getting another one. <laughs> they would all eat until they burst. Okay, but this guy we know not to overfeed and that was a fairly large item for him. But, you know, he's always had digestive issues. Uh, if you overfeed him, he, uh, he regurgitates. And he doesn't really seem to uh, completely digest what you give him, so that's why we we offer him extra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have fun with Mr. K. Uh, All right, so let's see. Not only do we have the female up here, if you'll. Uh, Excuse me, we'll see where the male's little pointy end is. I don't, I don't really see it, but I bet he's... He might come forth. Males, of course, do not uh, feed uh, as readily as the females do. And since she's laid a whole bunch of eggs, um, you know, I am going to put some weight back on her. <laughs> it's really not nice for us to be <laughs> waving this in front of poor Mr. K, but I'll come back later with something smaller to, to feed him. Uh, also, I want to check the Russell's Viper's uh, cage temperatures.
Are you ready for that? Would you like another one? Huh? All right, let's eat it but first. <laughs> she can figure out how to turn it the right way. Well, yeah, I mean, I... Uh, you always uh, offer it to them the right way, and well... Some of them just don't like that. They're going to do it the way they want to do it. Now, Mr. Milos has been quite strange recently. Uh, he's just sort of started to eat again. He was off feed for a long time. He ate a, a full-grown mice, but he hasn't been striking. Nor does he readily take something off like he used to. But if I leave it there, at least the past two times, uh, He's, uh, he's taking it. Sometimes we find it in the morning and he's resting his head on it, like a little pillow. But he had a full-grown, full-size frozen thawed mouse uh, two weeks ago. Last week he had one this size that I just sort of left behind because I don't have time to uh, babysit uh, 